with the resistance and reactance measurement lab for physics, you have to look at the phase relationships between current and voltage across a resistor, an inductor and a capacitor. At the moment I've got it set up across a resistor and channel 1 shows the current. I'll keep this consistent. The channel 1 here is always the current. I'm moving it up and down on the crow. As you can see, they're in phase. The peak of the current is, happens at the same time as the peak of the voltage. If I then go and move the probes across the capacitor, you will notice we have the current again, which I'm moving, and you can see the current peak happens before the voltage peak. Therefore, current leads voltage. If I move the probes across an inductor, Again, I'll move channel 1, which is the current, and you can see that the voltage happens, the voltage peak happens before the current peak, therefore voltage leads current across an inductor. The other thing is, there should be a 90 degrees phase shift. You can see with the inductor, that gap is slightly different to that gap, that gap is slightly different to that gap, therefore the phase shift isn't exactly 90 degrees. It's fairly close, but not quite 90. And the reason for this is we can't make a perfect inductor. Within every inductor we have, there's a bit of resistance. It's basically a coil of wire. If I put across the capacitor, the capacitor we can make fairly perfect capacitors. So we can see that all those gaps there are pretty much even. Therefore, we have a 90 degrees phase shift.